The Bible says, Gentiles shall come to your light. And that means you will have the light. You will not be in darkness. You will have the solution that they are looking for. You will have the idea, the skill, the anointing that they are looking for. Isaac. Abimelech drove Isaac away. But he went back to beg him. Because he knew that Isaac was carrying something. That nobody else has. It's the time he was, you know, given Isaac problem, he never knew that a time would come when he would need Isaac. When he got to that time, he went looking for Isaac. Praise the Lord. And he even went there to apologize. Jephthah, they drove him away initially, but they called him back on his own terms. Not on their terms. When they look, went back to look for Jephthah, Jephthah gave them conditions. He gave them terms. If you want me back, this and this and this and these are what I want. And did they do it? Yes, they did it. They went back on his own terms. Joseph's brothers fell down before him five times. They thought it will never happen. You, for us to bind down and pay obeisance to you, you, God forbid. But they, <coughs> they fell down flat on their faces five times because this, their solution lies in his hands. Your enemy will bow. That situation will bow. That thing, that particular thing will bow. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Joseph's brother fell down before him five times. Your enemy will fall down before you. Not even five times this time, several times. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because of your light, they have no choice than to bow. Praise the Lord. Number two result. Kings will come to the brightness of thy rising you will become the center of attraction. Because they have no choice. They, you will be there and you will be seen. You know at times, things will happen that they, you, they won't even remember you. But when that light comes upon you, when that glory of the Lord is seen upon your life, and when God says, this is my beloved, in whom I am well pleased, what happened to Jesus? People kept following him. Multitudes followed him. Even if it is for what they were going to eat. You saw people going around, following Jesus everywhere he went. Because that glory was seen upon his life. Because that light was upon the life of Jesus Christ. When that glory of the Lord is upon your life, no matter the situation and the circumstances, they will see you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, you will become center of attraction. Everyone was coming to Joseph in Egypt. People will begin to come unto you because their solution lies in your hands. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Matthew 5, 14 says, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Can you light a candle and put it under a bushel? It is not possible. Where are you supposed to be? Is where your light will be revealed. No matter how dark your environment is. When you show up, there's supposed to be a solution. When you appear, there's supposed to be an illumination. When you appear, there's supposed to be a, a you're supposed to be a problem solver. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. John 8, 12 says, Then Jesus, then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. Beloved, you are the light of the world. Let nothing, let no circumstances, let no situation, let nothing around you make you to think contrary. You are the light of the world. Jesus spake unto them. Jesus is talking to you this morning. He says, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me. The only time we can be problem solvers, the only time we can be a light, a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hid, is when we keep following the Lord, our maker, the finisher of our faith. He said, he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. In most cases, when we find ourselves in a terrible situation, we have, re we have derailed. We have to retrace our steps back. Okay, Lord, where have I missed it? Where have I done what I am not supposed to do? Please show it to me. He said, if you follow me, you shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Let us make a decision this morning. As children of God, 
if we want that light to be seen, if we want that glory of the Lord upon our lives to be revealed, if we want Gentiles to come to our life, and if we want the kings, can you imagine? There are some people that are, with, uh, close, that are closer or closest to the president. What is that telling you? They are important. They are relevant. Can I just go there and appear and say, Obama, how are you this morning? But do you know that there are some people that are so close to him that they still call him by his name? Not only, uh, what is her name? Michelle. Not only his mother. But some people are so close to him that they still call him by his name. Because they are friends. They are pals. Praise the Lord. Can you work with God to that extent that you will be so important and so relevant? That God will see to it that no matter what is going on around, you will be, you know, you will be significant in your own generation. Can you work with God that way? Jesus said, I am the light. If you follow me, you will not walk in darkness. Beloved, let us make up our mind this morning to follow the author and the finisher of our faith. The Bible says, arise, shine, for your light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. It says, the darkness shall cover the heart. Gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon you. And his glory shall be seen. You want the Lord to arise upon your life. You want the glory of the Lord to be revealed upon you. Then you have to follow Jesus absolutely. Because it is when you follow him that you'll be able to hear his voice. When you follow him, you'll be able to know when he's leading you. When you follow the Lord, you'll be able to be sensitive in the spirit. So that when he's talking to you, you will not allow your flesh to rule out what God is telling you. The Lord will grant us understanding in the name of Jesus. John 9 verse 5 says, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Wherever you are on your job, in your family, in the house of God, as long as you are still in this world. Beloved, purpose in your heart to be the light of the world. Don't be a tar amongst the wheat. Don't be a thorn amongst the wheat. Don't be a stone amongst the wheat. Be the light to lead people right, to show them the way. To direct them. To guide them. Not to poison them. Not to destroy their destinies. But to show them the way. Because what does light do? Light illuminates. Light gives direction. Light allows you to see ahead of you. Light allows you to see what is behind. When you are the light, you lead people. You direct people. You show them the way. You don't destroy their destiny. A light does not destroy. It is darkness that destroys. You will not be a darkness. Uh, what do I, how do I put it? In the mighty name of Jesus. You will always be the light. As long as I am in this world. Can you boldly say that in your heart? That as a child of God, as long as I am still in this world. I will follow Jesus. And I will be a light to my generation. I will be a light to people around me. I will be a light to my peers on my job, in my school. Wherever I appear, they will know, yes, that God's glory carrier is around. Can you imagine when you go somewhere and people are saying, ah, can you please agree with me? Can you please pray for me? Can you please do this for me? It is because they see something different in your life. They see you different from others. It's not like uh, all of them. You are different because you are separated. Something has to change. As a child of God, there must be a separation. You must be significant. If nobody has ever called you, you say, please, can you tell me this? Or I have a problem. I don't know how to go about it. Please, but I could see that 
Something is different about you. Can I confide in you? If on your job, amongst your friends, in your school, in the church, nobody has ever approached you. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. You are not affecting them positively. They are not seeing anything good in your life. They are not seeing anything they can emulate. That is the reason why you have not seen people being attracted to you. Light attracts. When you see, let's say this place, this building is in darkness and there is a light somewhere. What happens? Everybody will navigate towards the light. People are supposed to navigate towards you, not to move back from you. The Lord will help us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say the Lord will help us this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me quickly go over what I have said before. I said under arise shine, verses 1 to 3, there are five categories of activities. And under each category, I have two items under them. The first category is your responsibility. And it says arise. When God says arise, don't question it. Don't query it. Don't, you know, try to rationalize it in your mind. You just get up and begin to shine. Number two says shine. Why do you need to shine? Because your light has come. Even if, if people are not seeing that light, God says, my light has come. My light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. The event that led to God telling you to arise, it's because darkness will cover the earth. And gross darkness will cover the people. If we like it or not, we're seeing it happening around us these days. We can see darkness on the earth. Famine. Wars here and there. Problems everywhere we can see. We can feel it. Majority of us can feel what is going on. The Lord will help us in darkness. Gross darkness will cover the people. We can see different types of sicknesses and diseases that are coming. Attacking the lives of innocent citizens. Coming upon people vehemently. There was, he's still alive though. One of my lecturers in school, he was ill and healthy till August the 28th. He just started scratching his body. And by the time they took him to the hospital, hmm, cancer at the peak. They've taken him to the hospice now. Very young man. 28th of August, beloved. That thing did not give him any chance. And they did everything. His own defiled medication. He defiled chemotherapy. He defiled solution. Beloved. <laughs> if you are thoughtful, you need to be thankful. I could not bring myself to watching him on the internet. It was too much for me to comprehend. The sickness did not give him any chance. His seven-year-old son was asking the mother when they did fundraising for him in school, don't, mommy, don't lie to me. Is my daddy going to die? A seven-year-old boy who feel the impact. Beloved, <laughs> gross darkness will cover the people. It's happening. And it is only those. He's a believer. Strong believer. A child of God. 